After three months in Florida and driving thousands of miles on a road trip, we are finally here in the state of Texas. If you guys saw the last video, it was a journey to get here. Basically, why we are in this area, I'm doing a lot of stuff for my work. So it's kind of like a businessy trip. This wasn't like a super destination, even though it's kind of become that. Over the past couple days, we haven't done a lot of filming for this channel. We've been doing a little bit of exploring here and there, but today we're gonna get out and uh, do something that I've been wanting to do. We like this RV park a lot though. There's really cool places to bike. We'll probably show you guys that, but there is our camper. There's so much grass and something about Texas, I don't know what kind of grass this is, but it's, it's some nice freaking grass. So, welcome to the video. Welcome to north-ish kind of Texas. Let's get in the camper, see what Kelsey and the baby are up to. Campy's really tired because we went on a walk this morning. We did like three miles, but on our walk, we passed through a neighborhood and these people said they have four golden retrievers and they actually have some puppies available. They're all female puppies. Should we get one? No. Michael. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're literally not. How can you pass up that opportunity when there's puppies for sale? He wants a sister. Do you want another puppy? Uh, no! <laughs> I think another puppy is the last thing we would need. But we did go to uh, PetSmart the other day because we ordered his food and then it didn't come and then we had to go get him food but then it came that day which is super fun. But we got him a new toy. This thing right here. We'll show you guys later because he's kind of he already chewed it up it's to pieces. It's so destroyed already. Yeah, well, we don't want to get him too excited right now, but I'll show you guys later. He freaking loves this thing. It like is one of those brain stimulating kind of ones where like he has to try and get the toys out of the little circle by like moving it with his nose. Oh my gosh, he's so obsessed with it. Yeah, he's been smacking it all around. It is freaking hot here in Texas though. As you guys can probably hear, we got the air blasting. It is like, it, it's nice in the morning and then it's just been getting so freaking hot. I feel like I'm back in Florida. It's even like almost hotter than Florida, the Texas sun somehow. Is the sun bigger here? I heard things are bigger here. So let's fill them in on what's kind of been happening in Texas. I said I kind of have just been like working a lot yeah, on my at stuff. Least all week. He leaves me all week. <laughs> right when we came to Texas and like literally right when we pulled into this spot, this has never happened. Well, okay, one time this happened to us before in like the Northeast. Was it like Vermont? Either way, right when we got to this spot, there's some people next to us and they're kind of like around our age and we were like that's interesting because we don't really see that a lot yeah and they invited us over for dinner and it was super nice shout out to lauren and sam we made some friends yeah and it super was just, cool yeah it was just fun talking to people like our age and hanging out and like asking about their experience and whatnot so super fun to meet them and we had a really good time chatting yeah it's cool because again we don't see too many people our age doing stuff or living in rvs or being at RV parks. And a lot of the times it's just me and Kelsey obviously together talking to each other. Then we also talk to him, but he don't really talk back. Huh. So it's nice to talk to some other humans about stuff. Everybody's always friendly at these like RV parks and stuff, but yeah, that was cool to have like dinner with people. While we're here in Texas, we have to try some pretty good food and this is not exactly Texas food that we're about to go to, but I've seen it on the internet and this is one of the only places. There's like everything around where we're staying right now in North Texas. You want literally any store, you want any food, I feel like it's all kind of near here. So this is something that I've seen, it's not like a Texas thing, but hopefully it's a freaking good thing. Let's go uh, see if this food is good. This is my idea, by the way. This is always Michael's idea to get this kind of food. Yeah, I've seen on the, in the internet. He's a really bad influence when it comes to fast food, I'll tell you that. I'm a fast food influencer. Turn left, then you'll arrive at your destination. We got chicken, not just any chicken. We got hot chicken. This is a place called Dave's Hot Chicken. I've seen it on Instagram and stuff, as I've kind of said. Take a look at this real quick. So I got a one tender and one slider. It comes with all this kind of stuff. What'd you get? I got two sliders and fries, but this is like a whole sandwich. I don't think I can eat both of those. Yeah, I mean, for the price, it's not too bad either. This is like, what, around like 10 bucks each? But this looks pretty good. I got one hot and one medium. And it comes with a secret sauce. I'm kind of sanitized because I was holding the door for the guy behind me and he like put his hand on my hand. What? I don't know if you saw that, I was like, uh, he's like, oh, sorry. I was like, <laughs> ew. <laughs> I want it spicy. I think that's just a medium too. It's got a little kick to it. Damn, I didn't even take a picture. Watch. That's so juicy. Super good. Oh. Oh, hot. Oh, man. Ha, the hotter spicy is definitely spicier. It's very nice. Hey bro, you want some loud chicken? Like look, Chick-fil-A is really good, right? 
we were big fans of Chick-fil-A. The thing about Chick-fil-A though, it like doesn't have a crazy, you know, explosive taste. It just like, it just tastes good. This, like, I don't know if you could see, that is so much seasoning that they put on that. And even on the bun, it rubs off. I read somewhere how like they create their chicken and it's like this whole process of like brining and like all this flavor stuff. And you could really tell when you eat it, it's like so juicy in the middle and it's it's pretty freaking good, dude. I've seen this on the internet and as we kind of, you know, go around the country and travel, you guys have seen in past videos, it's cool to just try stuff like this. It's not a Texas thing, but there are some other Texas things we want to try while we're here, but this is cool. Very nice. This is all I could eat was one sandwich and a couple of fries, but these sandwiches are so filling. They give you so much food, don't they? Mm -hmm. like, this is, I feel like, just a lot. You can tell Michael does not like coleslaw. What even is a coleslaw? I say if you're around one, Dave's Hot Chicken. Give it a try. It is uh, first date camper approved. I would give it an 8 out of 10. It was super juicy, super moist, uh, lots of flavor. The fries were good. Do I need to eat it again? Mm, no, I'll stick with Chick-fil-A. But it was good to try something different. Yeah, I'd say like 8 out of 10. Very nice. Hello? Hello? Hi. Hello. Wiggle butt. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle butt. Wiggle butt. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle butt. Wiggle butt. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle butt. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle butt. We got the wiggliest booty. I want to show you a trick camper learned. Campy, you want to show that trick? <laughs> okay, we show the trick and then we get your new toy ready, okay? Come on. Wait, I sit down there. Come here. Okay, 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 okay. You're like, it's like too crazy. Okay, come on, legs. Sit. Good boy. Okay, walk. Sit. Oh, you're so good. Okay, gentle. Gentle. Oh, you're such a good boy. This is the new toy we got, Camper. Just put some treats in there. And then you screw this back on. He's gonna go cuckoo caca. Okay, ready? This is what he does. He gets it, he, he He's brings really smart. It, he brings it onto the couch, then he'll push it off. It's the best technique to get the treats out. By the way, we have our Dinah down. We like to lay down and just watch TV. It is another day here in Texas. Camper and I did our walk this morning. I worked out and now I'm working on doing the laundry. This past week has pretty much just been Michael working a lot. He's been fishing, filming videos. I've been busy in the camper working on planning the wedding, editing videos, and just kind of cleaning up. So this week has just pretty much been a chill and work week. We haven't really done too much exploring in the area. If if you have any recommendations for stuff we should do in the Dallas Fort Worth area let us know we have a couple more days here and then we have to figure out where we're going next I do have something super exciting that I got in the mail if you remember last year when we were in Texas we got one of those United States maps to put on the camper and for some reason I thought our camper was magnetic and I got the magnetic one obviously that didn't work out so I had to return it and then a year later I finally ordered a new one. If you follow us on Instagram at all, I had people vote which one we should get. The one I got didn't win, but I like this one better. And now I just need to figure out where we should put it. I see a lot of people put it in different places around their camper. I'm kind of leaning towards either putting it on the slide or right next to the door. Michael doesn't like the door as much. I do really like the slide. I'm just kind of worried about it getting messed up with the slide going in and out but i do want to get that up and installed and i want to start crossing off some of our states that we've been to michael and i are on our way for a little date night we are going to the movies we're going to go see dumbledore <laughs> we, we haven't um actually been in the movies since the last grinch came out yeah the animated one which was like three years ago it's been a while i don't know if i remember how to to go to the movies we got some snacks in the pockets he got some nerd clusters these are such good candy i kept hyping them up and then she tried it and she understood yeah they're really good this is actually a dining theater so maybe we'll get some snacks but 
I'm super excited to see this movie. It's gonna be really cool. This whole area we've been staying in just has the nicest houses we've like ever seen. And we've been biking around in all the different neighborhoods near our campground. And it's just so cool to see all these like beautiful houses. We looked some of them up on Zillow that were for sale. Definitely not in our price range, but I would totally want to live in one of them. They're beautiful. So this is a completely dine-in theater. So it's super fancy. But uh, me and Kelsey spotted this game. We're not gonna play it right now, but this is, this is our game. <laughs> the clown game. We're really good at it when we play together. We get really locked in. This is a cool place. Yeah. Very fancy. Very nice. know what is going on well, let me tell you what's been going on so right over in this area there has been an infestation and it's actually spread to everywhere but it started over here for some reason one or another the freaking ants decided it was like dude this is this is this place is a vibe let's come inside and they came marching in and we've had freaking ants over there and then we found them over here and then we found them up here not just crackers freaking ants up there okay. and then i found i found some in the freaking bedroom why? Okay. They were on my laptop. Why are they in my laptop? <laughs> okay, wait. You, Michael did have a nutty bar up there, and there was something sticky on it. So that's when I first noticed all the ants up there. Did you throw that nutty bar away too? That's sad. Yeah, because I don't think you want to eat. Nutty ants. bars are good. You guys like nutty bars? And then we found them in the bathroom, and we just killed a few. And um, why? Why? So if any of you guys have any advice on how to get ants out, like I heard cinnamon is a thing that like you can put down, and it, like they just don't like it or something, but. Should we get ant traps? Where are they coming in? Uh, I mean, they, they could be coming in through the slide. Yeah, we find them a lot, like right down here by this window and near the air fryer. Like, they could they be coming in, in the pipes? You know how that thing outside is like connected to the, to the sink? I don't freaking know. So, if any of you guys have ever dealt with ants in an RV, they're not as bad now. I feel like that they were in Florida, but I think they kind of traveled with us, and they might be like asking some other van ants to come over, like inviting them or something. So, <laughs> We have like a yeah, there's a lot of passengers on this vessel right now So if any of you guys know how to freaking get rid of them Let us know down in the comment section below. We're gonna have some more video stuff from Texas and uh, this, Yeah, a lot more stuff. We're gonna be doing here And then we are gonna adventure more in the RV to other unknown lands So let me know what you guys think of what we should do here and while we still have time in Dallas area and pretty much it comment down below where we should put the u.s sticker map on the rv if you guys did enjoy this video please hit that thumbs up button because if you don't <sighs> okay see you guys next video